Welcome, my friends, to the second video in the Alpha 21 Developer Livestream Recap series. If you missed the first one, I'll link it above and down below in the description. The topics covered before include new quest types, locations, crafting and perk overhauls, water changes, and the console update. The general topic of this livestream was art. We were shown tons of Alpha 21 art, and they showed us a little bit of Alpha 22 art, and even art for gold release of the game, which will hopefully be after Alpha 22. So stick around to the end of the video for all of that. As of right now, the projected release date for Alpha 21 is around mid-May, hopefully. So there's a lot to cover here. I've broken down the video into chapters and you can see all of the topics we'll be going over in order right here and there will be timestamps below if you need them. As always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave it a like and if I end up earning your subscription, then welcome aboard. So let's begin. So the first thing I wanna call your attention to are these concept images for the new Trader compounds. Now, in the first developer live stream, we got a walkthrough of Trader Bob's and Trader Rex's compound. So we got basically first-hand experience looking at that and we've also also received concept art for Trader Bob's in the past, but now we have concept art for Trader Jens, a little bit of a walkthrough of Trader Jens, and also concept art for Trader Joel's. There's also some teasers a little bit later on for some of the art that's going into Trader Hughes. <laughs> I know, things are a little bit disorganized. We'll get to everything in due time. I tried to organize it as fluidly as possible for you. So a good segue from Trader Compounds is a look at these, what they're calling kits. Now these are the new tents. We've seen these in the military compounds and there's also these yellow sort of hazmat tents. These are actually outside in Trader Gen's compound. In this first image here, you can see a playground in the background. Trader Gen's new compound is in a church and it looks to be the same church that we see in the game right now. I believe it's church number three. So basically these kits come in pieces, which you can see here, they are not player craftable or purchasable, but they will be available to POI makers and most likely through mods or console commands. They also showed off a few more kits. These here are wooden platforms and it appears that some of the trader compounds utilize these and they did also say that there are POIs out there that will utilize these as well. Here is like a wooden palisade wall that is surrounding a trader Joel's. And there was some emphasis on these being dynamic in that you can see on the, in the middle portion here of the left side image these are stacked three tall so you can stack them infinitely tall and there will be like a seamless border and then the top one will have the spikes on it and here's a look at the gate here again an emphasis is being placed on environmental storytelling and so you can see there's some wording and some uh, hash marks that are ticked onto the door there for kills or something like that and you can also see a new trader joel sign we'll get to that again a little bit later on there's actually a whole bunch of new signs everybody gets a new sign in alpha 21 and here is a brief look at those signs. I'm not sure which one actually belongs to Trader Gen. The reason I called your attention to the slide in the background of Trader Gen's compound before is because there's this sort of childish kind of daycare-ish Jen's clinic sign here, but then there's like a more medical sign right here. And here's a sort of different image of the new signs. Trader Joel up in the top left, Hughes sign in the top right, Bob's top middle, and front and center here is the Duke's Grand Hotel sign. Now we'll get to this more at the end of the video, but the Duke of Navasgain is uh, the head of some casino and is sort of a, a leader or boss type of figure in the post-apocalyptic Navasgain landscape. And he will be one of the centerpieces of the main storyline when we get that in gold. Now I wanna call your attention here, there is this little arrow marker that says coming in Alpha 22 plus, which to me means gold. That I, I, I highly doubt that they will move the timeline up on anything. If anything, timelines get moved back. So if it says 22 plus, I'm counting on Alpha 23 if that even becomes a thing or gold. Okay, the next section is what I'm calling interactive objects. These will be things like workbenches and forges. Now we did get images on Twitter several weeks ago for the new workbench, a destroyed version on the right, working version on the left. Here's a picture of the new forge. There was a good question in the last live stream. Will these tools, such as the crucible, the bellows, and the anvil, be visible whether they're in the workstation or not, as well as, you know, tools for the workbench eventually? And the answer is for the forge in Alpha 21, yes. For the forge and the workbench, 
Maybe, but uh, we, we're going to get the Forge and Alpha 21 and possibly beyond that we might get uh, the other workstations as well. The chemistry station is said to be being worked on for Alpha 22, will not be available for 21. And so I thought this was kind of interesting. There was just like some pictures of real world objects and then there was a concept art design and then there was the actual model that we're going to see in the game. And here's the nice fancy version. You can see broken versions of both workstations, working versions on the front and bottom you can see new writable crates again coming to alpha 22 plus so undetermined when we're actually going to get those and the back center you can see that open sign that is a uh, player vending machine and speaking of vending machines here's a look at the new vending machine it's been upgraded so that you can see all of its contents there are several different versions from empty to broken to full and working here's a look at all of the new snacks that are inside now if you zoom into this really closely you can see the labels there's like health data like calories and uh, carbohydrates content and stuff like that on the back of these it's pretty detailed and so much more importantly for us the players is the candy overhaul so they've updated all the graphics so that they have much cooler designs and even though we won't be able to see it up close like this it'll look more like this over here so you can see the vending machines kind of in action in in the game with proper lighting now if you see these models that have blue jeans and white t-shirt th these are just the uh, sleeper volume uh, representative zombies it's just like a dummy right like a crash test dummy it's not a real zombie don't worry <laughs> zombies are not going to look like this and here's a look at the vending machine and it's sort of like uh kind of not in direct light and you can see the reflection off of the uh, wall of this AK-47 poster. We'll get a closer look at that a little bit later, but just cool to see the reflection on the side there. Okay, on to the next section here. Now we saw a whole bunch of doors in the first live stream and we actually got to go into first person mode and see all the doors that were in this little arena here. I did some rough counting and I came up with roughly 500 doors sitting on this map right here. Granted, that's include they're mostly just like color variations, right? And some of them are like single door and double door yes we are getting double doors the most important thing here as we're kind of scrolling through this is that these doors will now be like when you can damage them and it's going to open up a hole in the door and then you can actually there's no hitbox there anymore so when you see an opening in a door whether it's like a broken window or the door is being like ripped apart you'll be able to hit zombies through it throw grenades through it shoot arrows through it you name it and so there's these fancy new closet doors there's new doors for the traders and these doors doors are not exclusive to the traders these are also used in POIs but it does show them being damaged at the traders even though it will have trader protections in the game there's sliding glass doors there's like screen doors there's supermarket doors there's even these cool roll up like gate doors that you would like, see at like a gate mall doors. and speaking of mall yeah. have a listen to this and you probably Let's see at shops and stores at the mall kind of give you hints of possibilities for new POIs now, if that's not confirmation of what will probably be a tier six mall POI coming up, yes, you heard it right, tier six, they confirmed tier six POIs are coming and that was in the first developer live stream. So my prediction is gonna be, we'll see a tier six shopping mall. Now, the last couple things here, elevator door, and then real quickly, we're gonna see the new hatch. It looks basically the same to me, just a little bit of different coloration, I think. And these new vault doors, I'm so glad we actually got an up close view of this because I could see them off in the distance during the first live stream, but now we get to see them up front and center. And man, they look pretty cool. I like this a lot. Okay, real quick pass through the vehicles. We've seen these a hundred times. These were the some of the first images that we got of Alpha 20 like months and months and probably you know, like <laughs> over a year ago at this point. So we've got new trucks, vans, minivans, police car. We've got crushed versions. We have fire truck, semi truck. We have these new excavators, which are actually pretty new with the caterpillars. We've got a bulldozer. We've got tractors, forklift, and basically long story short, this is just, these are props. These are for you to hide behind or salvage and not for you to ride on. These are not ever going to be player vehicles unless you get it through a mod. One last thing that I originally missed in the first live stream is that when Lathan turned toward this cop car, 
It was locked, and Rick immediately told him to back away from the vehicle because there was something there that they didn't quite want to reveal yet, and there are some predictions that it could be an alarm that will sound when you try to unlock the vehicle and therefore bring in a whole bunch of zombies from the surrounding area, or there could be some other hidden mechanics related to these locked police vehicles as well. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some of the spicy stuff, and I really do mean spicy, so stick around and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is gonna be one of the main features, probably with bandits that come out in Alpha 22. I, it's kinda sounding more and more like bandits will be pushed to gold, uh, just by this, the, the, the wording that some of the developers used, I don't think, I think Elf 22 is going to be like the big character overhaul. But anyway, this is the picture we were shown on Twitter ages ago with a, a, you know, proper anatomy, good lighting, muscle tone. This is a picture of the person walking and you can see just some of the physics with the, the leather skirt thing that he's wearing. And during the live stream, they gave us these new images. So we can see the black character here. There were a couple of other images shown with just really realistic looking faces with proper proportions and the hair looks good and the facial hair looks good and there seems to be a good amount of variety with what you can choose. I'm not sure yet they didn't reveal any sort of like character customization stuff. I don't know if these are just pre-made faces that you choose or not. You can also see a Caucasian character over here. Very exciting to see all that. And that's a good segue into the new character armor, which also appears to be coming in Alpha 22 or 22 plus, you know, going into gold or possible Alpha 23. So let me take you back for a trip down memory lane. So originally back for Alpha 20, they released some concept art for new character armor and so you, i'm just scrolling through a couple of these here the, i'm not saying that these are coming i'm saying that this is what they showed us a long time ago this is uh the work of joel joel came up with these sort of new character outfits and they would be four pieces and you'd get a bonus for having the full set and they're very thematic so like each each one was there was like a mining one there was like a nerd outfit there was like a wasteland outfit and then over the past several months or year or so they've released a few pictures on twitter so the first one here is the raider armor the second one here is military armor they call this actually commando armor and it's just at first we all thought that this was a replacement for the military armor and then they also released this image which is the new iron armor but this may not actually be a replacement for the predecessors because in this live stream, they started releasing a whole bunch of new armor and they revealed first the Wasteland Assassin armor, which I can't deny looks really friggin' cool. And they did talk about bonuses. And so basically they've revived this. We haven't heard like anything about character armor for ages. They're just like dropping bombs in this live stream that it's back. It's gonna be like a four or five piece set. It's gonna give you special bonuses and it will give you a set bonus as well. So basically it's confirmed that we're going back to the character sets that we saw earlier. It just, they might be different sets. They're probably going to look a little bit better. Again, those were just concept arts back then. So let's check out the next one. They're calling this one the Hoarder model, which <laughs> looks goofy as hell, but like, you know, actually really fits the Seven Days to Die art theme that I think that they're going for. So I do like it. I, I don't think I would like wearing it because I'm more of like the commando armor kind of guy myself. But um, again, they talked about bonuses being applied to this character. They also interestingly talked about noise being a problem with this character. And perhaps, you know, you're attracting a lot of zombies because you have all this like stuff jingling around on your backpack. They did talk about all of these armor sets having their own animations. So for this character in particular, you're gonna see stuff kind of like wiggling and wobbling around on his backpack. And so the next one here is the desert gear. And I really do like the look of this here on the male character. And this brings up the fact that we kind of have to rethink character armor because we're all used to wearing armor, padded armor, leather armor, military armor, steel armor. And I think what they're transitioning to is our outfits. And so instead of just wearing flat out armor, sure, there will be armor, but there will also just be like regular outfits. So maybe if you're not doing battle, you take your armor off and you put on like your mining gear or your desert gear or you know, potentially there's going to be snow gear. And now to the very, very spicy stuff, the female model. This is our first look at the female character. 
And um, it's very exciting. I'll put it that way. They're definitely going with like a Tomb Raider approach here, heavily inspired by Tomb Raider. I, I mean, it's almost like borderline copyright infringement. But anyway, uh, it looks very good. Good on the eyes. Definitely not... Uh, post-apocalyptic realistic kind of you know it's definitely going to break the immersion a little bit okay so all those changes are coming in alpha 22 we're going to move on to another alpha 22 plus segment and that is bandits now if i had to make a prediction i would say bandits will be alpha 23 or if there's no alpha 23 then gold I was just starting you off here with some of the images that they previously released of bandits. This was a long time ago, so I don't know if these are still in or they're out or if this is one faction of bandits and what they showed us in the stream is another faction of bandits because they have talked about there being two, at least two factions of bandits probably one for the White River faction and maybe another one for like the Duke's faction. Basically it's the Duke versus Noah is the storyline that they're going for. So I think there will be bandits for both sides. And what they've said is that you'll choose a side basically. So on one playthrough, you could choose Noah's side and that will kind of influence your quest and your interactions with people. And then on your next playthrough, you could do the other side, but you can't do both at the same time. So it'll be like Skyrim in the sense that you gotta kind of pick a side. Anyway, that's way, way off in the distance. Here is a look at the new bandits. And so the first image we get here is bandit female. And you can just tell that there's a big difference between this bandit and the bandits we just saw a second ago. Uh, there's just a completely different feel to it. It's more tribal, it's more gritty. And then the really cool one here, this is the overlord they're calling him. And they said that this is a tier three bandit. So previously, just like we saw in the first three images, there's like a tier one a tier two and a tier three now in the game files there's reference to melee bandit ranged bandit and boss bandit and so that's probably your your one two three right there i'm not sure if that's what they're sticking with but this is basically your your alpha bandit right here for this faction so that's all the stuff that they gave us for alpha 22 or 22 ish i guess you could say now i'm just going to run you through some slides here of some of the new art that will be coming in basically just some screenshots of some low res high res high poly low poly sorry i'm not really a, a graphics artist i can't tell you what all this stuff means but anyway there's going to be new bushes new couches basically new everything they went they did a pass they actually they couldn't do it internally so they had to hire this out to a studios called decagon studios and over the past several months on twitter they've been releasing some of these images and then you could just go on like decagon's website and look these up anyway there's new alcohol boxes but the alcohol is not drinkable it's just a world object a decoration new targets there's new there's these like military badges and ribbons and stuff that um, are going to be in trader hughes compound along with some like uh, images and blueprints of weapons. There's also going to be some new flags, which I'm actually kind of excited about because these actually look really cool. These are inspired by like the Marine Corps flag, the Don't Tread on Me flag, and the uh, Pow Mia or the POW MIA flag. Just a bunch of cool decorations to help bring some life into the world, help cover up some of the blank spots on the walls, and help just make the world feel more lived in and more immersive. There's also a picture of the new achievement icons that will be introduced. We were talking on Discord about this that would be really cool if they actually sold these uh blueprints as merch like i could totally see myself hanging one of these up on my wall somewhere and last little bit of art here so we looked at some of the blueprints for the weapons these are the actual weapons that they released on twitter some months ago and so this is what i do expect to see in the game it's there uh, it's definitely you know, if you like that sort of clean military tactical look, this is definitely going to rub you the wrong way like it does me. But um, they're going for that rustic post-apocalyptic kind of scavenging kind of feel to everything. And so this is what we're going to be left with. Okay, last little bit here. This is stuff for like Alpha 22 and beyond and gold. So basically, do not expect this anytime soon. Possibly this stuff will be completely different. It might not be there at all, but they did tease some of this stuff at the very end of the stream. The first thing is a UI overhaul. Now, when I had conducted my interview with Rick and Joel, they actually made it sound like this was going to be coming to Alpha 21. So maybe we will see this a little bit sooner than gold. But anyway, it's a much cleaner looking UI. It's not dramatically different in my opinion. It's, it's like many mods that we see currently for seven days. They also gave us some concept art for new vehicles there's the mini bike on the right side with a toilet for a seat and on the left side a new 4x4 which i'm really liking the looks of 
And so we've spoke earlier about the story between the Duke of Navasgain, who runs the Duke's Casino, and Noah, who we don't really know much about Noah. And so here are their locations. Now, it's unclear whether this is more or less a trader compound or if this is some sort of like an end game questable location. The thing I do want to call your attention to is that both of these compounds do have helipads, just like the trader compounds. Now, what these helipads do is up for debate. Originally, I thought that these would be actual helipads and that they will be introducing a helicopter into the game. But then there were some very observant people, like my friend Wayward Echo, who noticed that there is a powered radio which is adjacent to all of the trader helipads. And so it could be that there is some sort of a fast travel mechanic, which Rick himself said there's some secret hidden function that will be coming to Alpha 22 with regard to the helipad. And that'll just about do it. I will leave you with some more art that will be going into Alpha 21. And this is basically just some notes for the chemistry station, I think it was. There's some sticky notes that are all handwritten that have notes and little things. It's just a bunch of random stuff, basically. And there's also gonna be like this whiteboard that has a whole bunch of stuff written on it with callbacks to old things like sexual Tyrannosaurus, which will be removed. More on that in the first live stream recap. Make sure you've watched that. But anyway, I personally am very excited for this alpha. There was a lot that was promised that has been pushed back, but it's looking like it's going to be worth the wait. I'm fine with waiting. I am patient. But anyway, my friends, that is it for this live stream. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and stay tuned next Thursday morning for another live stream recap. Next week, we'll be working with the level designers. So we should get a whole bunch of sneak peeks at the new POIs coming up in Alpha 21 hopefully including some new tier six POIs. So I hope that you'll join me again for that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.